I know it's boring but my friend one of my friend keep asking me to make a video about the right mindset because I think most people who watch my channel they don't have it and he's like what's the point of making all that bullshit videos if you uh, if your users don't have the correct mindset all right so first of all why you keep asking in the comments that I want to get good with Linux I mean I understand even I write in my videos that okay how to get good with Linux but in the end of the day this is not how you should uh, okay you say it it's fine but if you are thinking like this this is wrong okay linux is a kernel you don't really want to get good with kernel all right most of the programs you use in linux you can use it on freebsd just because when i open the terminal and type neofetch you think like oh linux is so cool this is stupid okay linux is not cool you don't even want to get into the uh, kernel low level stuff okay not even the syscalls syscalls are like the interface for you know doing some things within the kernel what you want to do is you just want to learn some tools and you also need to understand the difference between tools and the concept. Okay, so what's the tools and what's the concept? So tools are basically like uh, GPG is a tool and Nginx is a tool. And these are like the tools which are like uh, for someone who understand computers because if you open the man page of GPG you're not going to understand a lot of things because it's like encryption it's like public key private key and what is open PGP encryption so the thing is people who are trying to learn something without understanding the concept so these are like tools okay so they are going to have a really hard time so understand the concept first all right so what is concept so for example if you are understanding about public key uh, private key encryption and stuff this is concept this is cool okay how to overcome this if you do like should i go for learning concept first understand what you want all right you don't want to get good with linux okay you want to i don't know what you want to do so concepts are like uh, for example, if you are learning about web server how it works, then it's concept. Or if you are learning about encryption, encryption that's concept. Uh, one more example, like it's not just uh, restricted for the user; it's also for the programmers. So, for example, if I open my Firefox and type Python dot org, so the thing is Python, it's just a tool. People just don't people who learn most Python, you know, like normies, so they re don't really see it as a tool. So here's my tips. Okay, these, these tips are not something which you really want to do, but you can do. First thing, every time if you want to learn something, just the first thing you should do is you should try to find a source code. Okay, source code Python. All right. This is very important because most people end up using tools for like years. They don't even see the repo. Okay. I think, you know, this is a very bad thing. You should always see the source code repo. Uh, it's important. All right. So this is the source code repo of Python. And as you can see, it's a huge program and this is created for programmers. Uh, notice this. Okay. So if you open the documentation of Python, now you wait a second, let's just, just wait a second. All right. So you open the source code. All right. Now the second thing which I will recommend you is install the program by compiling it and not by package manager. No, no, I know, I know some people are like, no, this is not good. Like as a new user, they are going to, you know, have a hard time just read what are the needs of the program like what are the system requirements and just try to compile it if you don't know what compiling is everything then just go back to your computer science class you you're like this is not good just understand how computers work that's it this is the concept thing so in order to compile as you can see make is a tool everything is a tool sudo is a tool every programs which are on cli mostly comes with a configuration file even the gui have configuration file in the back end but doesn't matter when you really build your program uh, it gives you the mindset that's for that's why i'm saying this i'm not saying it's very important you can install by package manager but let me tell you in the old days there were no package manager people were installing things with manually like and this gives them better understanding which most newbies don't get so after installing things from the source code like compiling properly and not just like you know just getting the binaries and just run it so you get a little bit better understanding now every tool okay so python is even you know python is also a tool okay most people are like oh, it's a programming language yeah i mean yeah but it's also a tool so docs.python.r this is something which is for everything so python is a very big programming language there are like a lot of docs but even for a simple program we have like man pages okay so for example ls is a tool and it comes with a man page 
in order to use tools you don't really have to memorize anything you just have to read the docs read the docs and after reading the docs you you know everything but again why people have bad time reading the docs because for example if you want to learn about how to do multi-processing in python and you don't know multi-processing then you're obviously going to have like a hard time okay if you don't know what a 4k is or os.4k is uh, okay it's linking you but basically uh, if you're jumping the tool without even understanding like what this tool is for and how it do something like uh, th like you can read how the tool is working but if you don't know what's the purpose of the tool then this is the problem understand the thing first okay so reading reading the doc is all you need to do all right tools using tools are not very hard so here's the problem okay people who want to learn about nginx what they do is they open youtube and they search video like uh, how to set up web server you know how to set up web server nginx and this is the oh my god i can't tell. see edureka you go on edureka and then you are like they, they don't explain you anything they don't you know Guys, it's just bullshit okay they are trying to explain but is this is a bad way of understanding all right so you don't want to learn about engine nginx architecture from this because they have this they have this proper documentation in their in their and if you understand the concept it's not going to be hard you can understand really nicely okay this is not docs and okay. and here's the thing so for example nginx oh now you must be wondering what is what a nginx is well it's just a web server i think it's like a proxy uh, and do multiple things so everything is a tool every tool is like have configuration and you can compile it yourself try to find the source code repo this will help and everything comes with configuration read the docs what what setting to what how to configure it some tools are tough because it's created for you know technicians or somebody who already they expect you you already know for example nginx mail imap module you don't know what imap is you don't know what mail is you're like if you don't know what imap protocol is you're obviously going to have a hard time understanding this module okay so for example postfix is something it's a tool all right just get this mindset okay it's just a tool and this tools come with a lot of configuration actually I, I ran it in my server and you just have to read the docs and understand what feature do what and if you understand the tool like why you are using a tool you also can predict uh, this feature must be in this tool all right you can predict it by yourself for example if i'm using ls so i can predict there must be some feature to you know uh, sort it according to name or size or something all right so you want to learn tools basically but tools are something which you don't want to memorize it you can read the docs and practice tools need practicing okay concept needs understanding practicing concept needs understanding understanding this is very important all right you need to have a really good understanding of concept and you need to do really good practicing of tools all right so how to get started this is the question now don't use tools which are more tech related use some simple tools in linux for example newsboard newsboard is just a simple tool for basically reading rss feeds now if in case if you don't know what rss feed then first okay this is just an example all right or something more simple like just ls or cd some basic commands all right so just use the tools which are pretty simple and not so you know heavy not so also use minimal tools okay this this will also help right so because if the tools are tool is minimal then there are less features less docs everything is less so it, it becomes more easy and then understand if you want to understand linux so basically one more thing okay let's let's let me add one more thing so in the concepts in the concept is cool but sometimes in the tools there are concept what is that what is that so basically it's how the tool is working for example git i was learning a lot about git okay so most people will learn git okay but let me show you some git repo uh let's do this oh uh, not this i think i removed so most people learn about git so for example this repo so 
what they don't do is they don't understand how git is working they don't understand that this dot git directive what it do and uh, what like uh, you know they, they just try to memorize some commands like git init and you know git they don't see the configuration they don't even open the git man page all right they they don't read docs they just go for some shitty videos so they don't even see that where the configuration files happen like where it exists they don't see all these environment variables which you can set for some uh, further functionality you know so try to do these kind of stuff so git is like a, a huge tool so for example configuration mechanism it's written here but you know most people don't do these kind of stuff everything is a tool this shell is a tool uh, like this the shell is a tool like okay yeah shell is a tool and the prompt is a tool the command line is a tool this new fetch is a tool every tools come with configuration it runs as a daemon or it runs like a so see if you are running a mail program and you are constantly reading for mails then like waiting for mails then it have to run as a daemon and tools can be interrupted you can send some interruption signals you can stop tools every tool run as a process all right and multiple process sometimes you can grab it you can just stop it python is a tool okay everything is a tool you can read the docs and if you don't understand in something in the doc then your concepts are weak basically okay or or sometimes what happen is for example if you're reading the documentation for pass all right so it says like keys gpg keys now you don't know what gpg is that's the problem so this is also a problem so this dwm is a tool to go find the source code to just understand also one big thing read the history of the tool okay why i say okay at this point so many left the video but you are lucky all right read the history of the tool it just get emotional about the tool for example i am very emotional about some tools like i really love those tools right not tools programs some big programs but the thing is when you read the history it's it's really entertaining and one more tip i want to give don't watch youtube videos but sometimes to understand concept you can watch some like a ben eater video on networking okay it really helped me so i'm not saying all videos are trash i'm just saying this culture like net ninja like like net ninja tutorials are trash okay tutorials are, i make tutorials and tutorials are trash like for example net ninja he he make really good tutorials but these are trash he sometimes he uh, you know explain the concept but you don't really need it in the end of the day you uh, you know tutorials are like very limited and you can't just get or, like get that skill of reading docs from watching tutorial all right so one thing you always uh, should do so i was learning a lot about free bsd operating system i was reading the docs but i listen to uh, you know talks always listen to docs so every time i start with something new so i was learning about webrtc uh, which is a google feature so i i literally listen to the talk by google because these guys like when they do talks they they represent very nicely they explain very nicely and it it's entertaining because you see some serious developer talking about Way their project so for example if you well, uh, just uh, listen to this previous you talk uh, so she starts yeah, with the history the, so she know, tells like how this project started and you you know what if you like some tools just be a maintainer to, like just contribute uh, if you are using free software and stuff okay so, so just find some bugs and report it and do these things but the all all uh, i'm saying is you you get this of mindset of tools like all right so for example Linux. If you read the history, you'll understand that you don't really want to learn Linux. You want to learn mostly GNU utils. That's what you want. Also, if you want to learn all this, then you know, uh, just don't use uh, tools like. Um, okay, to be honest, when somebody say Linux, it's really confusing what they want because most of the time it is confusing. But if you see it correctly, mostly you want to understand how Linux is working inside, not the whole entire kernel part, but at least like how Linux man manage processes. or you know some basic stuff like for example okay it's really hard to explain i at this point i just lost you so all i'm saying is that read the history if you read the history you get better understanding of the project like uh, don't don't be like a oh, well, history this doesn't make sense but no it it makes sense so when you read the history you'll realize that there is gnu gnu utilities and uh, you 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 get like better connection with the program all right and practice those tools that's a that's a 
it's a very bad rant i think it's a very very bad video but i'm just trying to explain okay i don't really wanted to make this video but you know i just wanted to make some normal tutorials like video but fine okay one video is fine and 